Okay, I have the camera right here. Miss Madsen isn't here today, so the morning announcements crew is split today, so it's just you and me today. That's fine with me, because I want you in here anyway, and on the last day of school, which is next week, Beda, Gemma, and Lydia will all be in here. Are you happy about that? Yeah, Mrs. Wolf, my last name is Canadian French, and I am a Canadian French exchange student, music maker, even though my favorite genre is Eurobeat or Eurodance, whatever you call it, an artist, even though I make paintings on canvas regarding songs by Perry Grip, whose music videos I see on YouTube. I am from Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, which is between 400 and 500 kilometers, or between 200 and 350 miles, according to the Google Converter Online, from Vancouver. I know it might be something different, but we all handle it well, right? Yes, Laura Neat, we all do something different when a person in charge of it is not here and the crew is split. And your last name is pronounced like Dache, which is a Canadian French surname. But not Dasha, one of Santa's reindeer during the Christmas season. The second to last letter of your last name is the same as Savon Dimer, the vocalist for Mono, Swoon, and Violet Indiana, except it is at the end of her last name. Whenever you are ready, press the button on the microphone, then wait a few seconds, then begin to announce on the loudspeaker. Alright, you may start at this time. Okay then. Does that include the Pledge of Allegiance, Border Collie Oath, and Moment of Silence as well? Yes, we recite both the Pledge and the School Oath, Oi, and observe a moment of silence each morning. Go right ahead. Alright, let's get this party started in 3, 2, 1. Good morning Tesla High School, the Border Collie Nation. These are your announcements for May 31, 2022. As a reminder, there's only one week left of school remaining. This is Russian Invasion of Ukraine Day 99. My, we are so close to counting 100 days the Russian invasion of Ukraine has taken place in the European Union. My name is Lauren Eve Dache, and I will be your temporary announcer as Miss Madsen is not here and the crew is split. Mrs. Wolf is currently filming me. The Tesla time is 8.47. Let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, shall we? Hand on your heart. Ready, commence. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to, and to the Republic for which, for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and, justice and justice for all. Now the Border Collie Oath. Follow along and don't fall behind while reciting it. Border collies, collies are the best to make the, to make the good times last. last. At Tesla we show At Tesla our border, we show our border pride in every single way we can. Every single way I can we make can. it a whole year without ever failing. I can failing. make it a whole year without ever failing. Now we continue to stand for a moment of silence. Thank you everyone. You may be seated. Here are your announcements, there is a mystery number of announcements in total. And as a reminder, I'd like to keep this number hidden so the principal won't see it. And also a reminder, I'd like to keep it random. So anyways, here are your announcements for today. First off, today in history, on this day in 1962, the State of Israel hanged German official Adolf Eichmann, who had escaped from a prison camp in 1946 and spent some 14 years in hiding for his part in the Nazi extermination of Jews during World War II. In 2009, Melvina Dean, the last known person to have survived the sinking of the Titanic in 1912, died in Southampton, England, she was nine weeks old at the time of the disaster. In 2005, it was publicly revealed that former FBI official Mark Felt was deep throat the anonymous informant at the center of the Watergate scandal that involved U.S. President Richard Nixon's administration. In 1977, the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, which connected the oil fields of Prudhoe Bay in northern Alaska with the harbor at Valdez, 800 miles, or 1,300 kilometers, to the south, was completed. In 1943, American gridiron football player Joe Namath, 
who was one of the game's best passers and a cultural sports icon of the 1960s, was born in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. In 1921, the Tulsa Race Massacre began in Oklahoma as mobs of both African Americans and whites descended on the courthouse where a black man, who was accused of assaulting a white woman, was being held. In the ensuing violence, Tulsa's prosperous black neighborhood of Greenwood was destroyed and as many as 300 people were killed, mostly African Americans. In 1916, the Battle of Jutland, an encounter between British and German naval fleets in World War I, began. In 1910, Louis Botha formed the first government of the Union of South Africa. In 1902, the South African War, or Boer War, came to a close with the signing of the Peace of Fariniging. In 1889, considered one of the worst natural disasters in American history, a flood ravaged Johnstown, Pennsylvania, causing more than 2,200 deaths. In 1819, American poet, essayist, and journalist Walt Whitman, whose verse collection Leaves of Grass, which is written in 1855, is a landmark in American literature, was born on Long Island, New York. And finally, in 1790, the United States established copyright law, and many of you disregard it. Anti-piracy is a crime, and you know that. Second announcement, on May 31, 1978, the U.S. House of Representatives voted 321 to 46 to request that the government of South Korea make its former ambassador to the U.S. available for testimony before the House Committee on Standards of Official Conduct. Kim Dong Jo had been accused of offering cash to congressmen to influence their voting on matters affecting South Korea. The House vote in effect ratified a resolution passed 31 to nothing by the House International Relations Committee on May 24, a week before that occurred. The statement asserted that members of the House would be prepared to deny or reduce economic aid to South Korea if Kim did not testify. Such aid, however, would not be denied if U.S. national security or the territorial integrity of South Korea would thereby be placed in jeopardy. The U.S. State Department opposed the resolution, partly because Kim had enjoyed diplomatic immunity while serving as ambassador. And that's from the time capsule from Britannica Book of the Year. Come check it out online at Britannica.com. Third announcement, during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, on May 28, Suri Haidai said that Ukrainian forces near Sivirodonetsk may have to retreat from the oblast in order to not be surrounded and captured by Russian forces. Russia captured Lyman in the Luhansk region. Lyman is important as it has road and rail bridges that cross the Siversky Donetsk River. Ukraine claimed that one of its MiG-29s downed a Russian Su-35 near Kherson. President Zelensky said that the situation in Ukraine was very difficult, especially in the Donbass and Kharkiv regions. Second, on May 29, the Institute for the Study of War claimed that Russian forces had suffered fearful casualties at the Battle of Severodonetsk, but that Ukraine had also lost forces. Governor Haidai stated that the Lysikansk Bakhmut Road was the last one connecting Sivirodonetsk to the outside, and that it was expected to be the focus of continued attacks by the Russians as they attempted to complete a pincer maneuver. On top of that, President Zelensky visited Kharkiv, marking his first official visit outside Kiev since the start of the war. Ivan Fedorov, the mayor of Melitopol, claimed that a bomb blast had occurred in the region, injuring two people. And finally, on May 30, which is Memorial Day yesterday, Suri Haidai said that Russian troops had entered the outskirts of Severodonetsk, amid heavy fighting. Stay tuned to the announcements as we give information regarding the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine timeline, and you may find more information regarding the ongoing 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine at en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash timeline of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. Fourth Announcement Letters for seniors were distributed on May 20. Seniors, if you did not get your letter due to absences, please see your homeroom or advisory teacher. Important information about graduation is included. Fifth announcement, Senior Week was an absolute success and marks the first of many new traditions for Tesla High School. Thanks to the students that shared ideas and the work of Ms. Borman, Mrs. Smith, and Siobhan DeMare, a bus driver volunteer and new faculty member, to coordinate events. Sixth announcement, in accordance with Chaseville Santa Angela Public Schools Board of Education Policy 7787, 
students that have more than 10 unexcused absences are subject to not receiving credit for classes despite their final grade. Any student participating in makeup time need to make sure they sign in with the teacher or staff member at the time of makeup. Please seek out administration or guidance to discuss opportunities to make up time. Seventh announcement, regular teacher made exams will begin May 31st and June 1st. Students that have an overall A average for the course and less than 10 unexcused absences can be exempt for their teacher made exam. Eighth announcement, Tales Landian River Regional EOCs for Math 1, Math 3, English 2, Biology and specific CTE courses will begin June 2nd to June 7th. Students will be released half a days. Students that are not taking an EOC on the assigned day will be stationed in the auditorium, gym, cafeteria, or anywhere else, even off campus, until the school day is over. Students, as such, no buses will run until 4.15 p.m. If you plan to go off campus, contact a rideshare vehicle company such as an Uber or Lyft, or even a cab with the exact fare. You may also take a commuter rail, a transit bus, or others. Ninth announcement, the 2021-2022 Tesla High School Athletic Banquet will be held on Friday, June 3 in the gymnasium. Doors will open at 6 p.m. for varsity athletes and their parents and guardians only. This is a ticketed event and student athletes should have already received their tickets. The deadline for ticket distribution from coaches was this past Friday. Light hors d'oeuvres and drinks will be served and the awards presentation will begin promptly at 6.30. Dress for the evening is business casual and must conform to the dress code. Tenth announcement, the students who will be competing against 64-day champion Alexis Stonebridge on Tales Landian Gardens Trivia, a Jeopardy spin-off, on Avalo Breeze Network at 7.30 p.m. tonight are Jude Lazowski and Kira Marshall. Good luck to both of you. And speaking of it, do you watch Tales Landian Gardens trivia a lot? I do, and I competed against Alexis Stonebridge on that game show. Come down to Avalo Breeze Studios Stage 23, also known as the Charles Blake Stage, to sign up for auditions, rehearsals, and online tests. Sounds like a spin-off to Jeopardy, right? 11th announcement, for students attending Beyond Basic today, Check with your team captain for any events you might be attending in June. However, the week after the first event in June, which is tomorrow, we will not be in school anymore due to summer break. I will be heading to Orlando a few days after the last day of school on Air Eleonoria, based in Dravenburg, and returning home on June 13 on Tesla Air Regional, which sister airline, the regular Tesla Air, has bases in Ashton City Travisville, Estelle Chaseville North, and Soria Chaseville West, and a hub at CSA Airport. 12th and 13th announcements, there aren't any birthdays today. Today's lunch is manager's choice, and you already know the varieties in the lunch line. 14th announcement, the last Tesla staff spotlight for the school year is my teacher, Miss Shunny Castle. Why? Because she likes my blogs, including Eurobeat remixes, my art, and my journeys. Miss Shunny Castle, in general, is like a charm, she makes sure everything is in ship shape, and she gives me credit when I pass her class. Please take a moment to thank Miss Castle when you see her in the hallways today. 15th announcement, here are the words of wisdom. A person that is selfless is first and foremost always true to their self. Ralph Jenkins, Marie Ornest, Sense Intelligent. If a small act of selflessness can bring joy, Imagine what a difference it would make to our lives if we put all our energies into developing the mind that truly cherishes others. Tashi Tseiring, The Awakening Mind. Being selfless is a life of fullness and love. Burks, Ellen, Embracing the Inconceivable. 16th Announcement, Airport of the Month for the last time this school year is Chicago Midway International Airport. Typically referred to as Midway Airport, Chicago Midway, or simply Midway, Chicago Midway International Airport is a major commercial airport on the southwest side of Chicago, Illinois, located approximately 12 miles, or 19 kilometers, from the Loop Business District. Established in 1927, Midway served as Chicago's primary airport until the opening of O'Hare International Airport in 1955. 
Today, Midway is one of the busiest airports in the nation, the second busiest airport in the Chicago metropolitan area and the state of Illinois, and serving 20,844,860 passengers in 2019. Midway is a base for Southwest Airlines, which carries over 95% of the passengers at the airport. The airport's current name is in honor of the Battle of Midway. The now-defunct Midway Airlines that once serviced the airport took its name from the airport. The airfield is located in a square mile bounded by 55th and 63rd Streets and Central and Cicero Avenues. The current terminal complex was completed in 2001. The terminal bridges Cicero Avenue and contains 43 gates with facilities for international passengers. The Stevenson Expressway, which is Interstate 55, runs adjacent to the airport, heading northeast to downtown Chicago and southwest to various suburbs. The Chicago Transit Authority Rapid Transit Orange Line provides transit to downtown Chicago where it connects with other subway and elevated rapid transit lines. 17th Announcement The following dates are important for the end-of-the-year processes. Please mark your calendars. June 3, Tesla Athletics Awards Recognition in the Gym at 6 p.m. June 7, Tesla Band Banquet and the Last Day of School. June 8, 9, and 10th are teacher work days. June 10th, mandatory graduation practice at 9 a.m., followed by a water balloon competition. Practice could take up to two or three hours, so please bring plenty of water and dress for the temperature. Caps and gowns should not be worn for practice. June 11th, class of 2022 graduation ceremony at the Amazon Prime Center in downtown Chaseville, the same place for monster truck events and live concerts, at 9 a.m. And finally, June 12, project graduation, students need to arrive at Chaseville Santa Angela International Airport by 4.30 a.m. in the main terminal for check-in and bag check. And just a reminder, the place for project graduation is the same place I will be going for my vacation to Snow Mountain, where Bodhi, a student here at Tesla High School, usually lives. So check my journey blogs and other blogs on my website often. 18th and final announcement, be sure to check my music blogs, art blogs, journey blogs, and my other blogs in general often at www.loreenvcreates.com slash blogs. I also have a YouTube channel, but demonetized like Darren Pipster and Tales Landian Gardens and Elysian Siemens due to my videos containing movie clips and 15-minute movie parts, such as Rock Dog and Rock Dog 2, Rock Around the Park. SML Plus show is deleted and retired due to legal reasons with Nintendo. I will privatize my 15-minute movie parts and movie clips and put it on my Google Drive when I have the chance to do so. I know the announcements are 15 minutes long, I will put my 15-minute movie parts and movie clips on Google Drive after I privatize them so I can get monetization back. I don't want to be terminated or be forced to delete my perfectly good channel with over 11 million subscribers. Next week, I will reveal my school year journey online on my website, so check it and the blogs section often. I have other social media accounts too, so check them often as well. There's something to think about, this is Lauren Eve Dache. Make it a great day here at Tesla, it's your choice, or is it, who knows? So, how'd it go? Perfect, they call me, the Canadian-American Queen of Percussion. I'm a big fan of your channel, Laura Neve. And your blogs on your own website is fantastic, as well as your social media accounts and your YouTube channel. Come to my office after school so we can look over your channel and which videos to privatize and put on your Google Drive. Lovely. I also have Fur Affinity, DeviantArt, and Ink Bunny accounts too. And I also had a seizure while on the way to school, and you gave information about my health on my blog while you took over my website until I recover. You do? I thought you never had those. You may go to class now. I'll see you after school so we can look over your content on YouTube and see what's wrong and what's right. See you later, Mrs. Wolf. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.